Good kitten internet. Uh, once more, I am Aetherspoon, and we are playing Alien Crossfire, the expansion to Alpha Centauri. With me to my left, and also left on camera, I think. I don't remember if I edit with flipped screen. Anyway, Kinect here's here. Hello. Um, so the camera setup's a little different than normal. Uh, my normal camera, which is actually right here, is no longer functioning. I'm not sure if the little power adapter that I use for it is dead, or if it the camera is dead. Um, I decided I didn't want to fiddle around with it, so I'm actually using my cell phone to record the video right now. So apologies if things look a little wonky. Hopefully it'll be decent. It'll be fine for a game. Anyway, let's play. Uh, where we last left off, because it's been a few weeks. Um, I don't remember anything. Yep, apparently I am playing as the caretakers. We are playing Thinker Mod on Thinker Difficulty. I do remember that much. And it's the year 2166. Uh, let's see. What is going on? We have a relatively small map. I think this might be large size. I'm gonna check the comm link and see who you're at war with. Mar. Okay. The usual. So we haven't met anyone yet. Ah, uh, this looks familiar. Yep. I have a large amount of territory on my own. You wiped out Akiseta 5? Yes. Because they dared to share the same landmass yeah. as me. And I wiped her out really early, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. um, although I don't have any of my pictures here. Oh, sorry, no, I do that in editing. Right, I remember now. Okay. Sorry, it's been a hot minute. Anyway, um, what are our bases like? We have four bases, one of which is constructing the virtual world. We have no infiltration whatsoever. Yeah, this sounds about right. And I am building creatures, formers, and colony pods. Yep, this is perfectly normal for me. Um, is this actually where I wanted to put a base, or was I trying to go someplace else? I don't remember anymore. I also don't remember. There's no go-to on this, but that's not surprising because it's a colony pod going through fungus. Mm-hmm. I don't remember at all. Well, you like clustering your bases close together, yes. so... Yes, and there's a bunch of fungus here plus rocky terrain, so I wasn't going to build a base here. And I can build the base here. But I'm betting I think I re vaguely remember... Is this actually my last save? Oops. Yes, it is. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Um. I put that there. I have the Unity Scout Chopper because I started nearby the Unity Wreckage. I remember that. It doesn't help that I have played multiple games since this. Mm -hmm. We have played a game for that matter. I really don't remember what in the world I was doing. Other than losing mindworms, apparently. Okay, I lived. Barely. Yeah, this is where Aki was, hence how Tau Collective is there. Oh, right, Manifold Nexus is here. Mm -hmm. With a nutrient resource on top of the Nexus. I'm starting to remember some things. Yeah, this is some really delicious looking terrain that I'm going to be expanding the crap out of. Uh, you're going to rest and meditate upon what you have learned. You're sitting there because I think that's where I wanted to... No, it can't be where I wanted to base. Uh, that is probably where I wanted to base. But I'm definitely going to be rapidly expanding. That explains why there's a... Colony pod being constructed here. Let's go ahead and hurry that. Put you back into fungus. Come. Come. 
I have so much money, I just noticed. Battle Ogres don't have uh, resonance fields. Yeah, they do. Every prototype you make has two sight. Battle oh, Ogres don't. Yeah, because it's not a prototype that I've made. It's only the ones that I prototype myself. It's not anything right. that is pre-created. But you'd think they would have it since they're yeah, like, you would think their progenitor technology. Turn complete. Okay. I think I might have been saving money for hurrying up the virtual world. I don't remember if anybody else had it. I don't have enough to rush that anyway. Great Intertwining is building a colony pod. Where's Great Intertwining? I probably should have looked at the save before starting, but where's the fun in that? Okay, Great Intertwining is there. So it's my forwardmost base. I mean, there's lots of plus spots to put a colony pod. Ideally, it would be here, but once more, it's in fungus. Everything's in fungus. That's why you send formers cursed. Yeah, but I'm early enough where I don't have the formers to spare. Um, let's see. I am number one in tech, military, wealth, and territory, but not number one overall. Overall, that's Mar. Hmm. Oh, and right. Aki restarted. We're pretty sure she restarted because she was still talking to us afterward. That's right. And she is actually listed as having faction dominance at all. So that means that she has to have a base somewhere. I remember now. Also, I'm apparently researching applied physics. Um, how about hurrying some formers? Request confirmation. Request confirmation. Okay. Production complete. You're basically just going to be building colony pods for a while. Dang, I wish I remembered more about what in the world I was doing this game. Well, I did suggest re-watching our yeah. recordings. And if I wasn't trying to do this before I go to bed, I probably would have. And Zone is crying. Because of course he is. I'll go check up on him, because that sounds like I'm about to throw up crying. That's also his cry now for I want attention. Yeah, because it works. Yes, it does. How you doing, Internet? I mean, at the time that I'm recording this, I still haven't even edited one of these videos. Um, so it's the 14th of November for me. I wonder if I'm in Perhelion at this point. Um, that's a tall spot. I really remember nothing about this game. Whoops. Forest. Okay, what I think I was doing here was I was trying to scout ahead and failing at it. Oh, I guess that actually worked. Aha, there is a nutrient resource over there. So if there's one there and one there, this is actually the base ideal base site. Although that's a little close to there. Zen Kitty okay? Yep. Okay. You didn't even notice me entering the room. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. So I think I remember what I was doing with this colony pod now. Mm -hmm. I was wanting to send a mindworm over here to find out what else was here, so I would know where to put the base. Ah. So there is a nutrient resource there, and a mineral resource there. But unfortunately, this is dry. Yeah, that looks barren. Yeah. So I'm actually thinking that I'm going to end up throwing the base there for the time being. Although that's 
covered with fungus. That's not going to help either. Okay, if that's a base site, then that would be the next base site, which is covered with fungus, as usual. That's great. Okay, this was going to be over here for a reason, and this is over here for a reason. Um, this is going to be one base. I specifically remember what I'm trying to do is try to take all of the territory on the continent as fast as I can mm -hmm. before an AI gets some bright ideas. All of this is fungus or rocky. I'm going to have to go further down, which is fine. You're sleeping. Okay, somebody else is... Uh, multiple people are now constructing virtual world. I'm going to need to rush that. Scientific theories hey, look, I finally have lasers. I have weaponry. And the simplicity with which to do so. Inco engineering is definitely going to be the best option from a purely mechanical perspective, but it costs more. I'm actually thinking industrial economics might not be the worst idea. I'm currently only at war with somebody halfway across the planet, so I'm not too concerned about that. I mean, I don't really care about free market in this case. Can I even do free market as human -y? Anyway, you are going to buy a lab. Already I'm currently demo green. Okay. I guess I didn't want to set up planned yet. Wonder why. This normally is a point where I would go with planned. Yeah, I have a perfect base site if it weren't for the fact that there's fungus on it. And it's rocky? No, this one actually isn't rocky, it's flat. How many turns would it take for me to get a former out there? Too many. I'm gonna leave that for now. I guess. So much fungus. Yeah, we'll leave it for now, and I'm just going to mark it. So what I'm doing for reference is that I'm labeling landmarks, so I at least have names for things. Erase landmark there, because we're just going to build. It makes it easier for me to remember what in the world I'm doing when there's this much of a time difference between videos. You need to rest. You're going to go after that pod. You're gonna road. You're gonna rest. You have a lot of food. Can I build condensers? Yes, I can. I'll hold off for now. Meow. 
Hey, boo. Do you want to be in this video, too? Because there weren't any kitties in the previous two videos. So there's a kitty here now. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Um, we're gonna go ahead and farm some of that square, and continue. Production complete. Oh right, I wanted to hurry. Virtual world. Sufficient energy. Uh, I still don't have enough money, but I'm getting closer. Ah uh, yes, rocky arid nutrient bonus. Brilliant. <laughs> You're getting flattened. So for reference, you cannot gain the nutrient bonus off of a rocky tile because there's no way for you to either plant a forest or food it. Um, I mean, you get a little bit of a bonus for just it existing, but not much of one. No, and since about the only thing you can do is build a mine, well, you can do solar panels too, I guess. But... You can mine, solar panel, condenser, mirror, or borehole. borehole. And boreholing a nutrient square is just dumb. So is mining it. Yeah. Yeah. Nutrient resources. Huh. We have discovered a crude robot pod left here by the intruding humans. It has discovered nutrient resources. Finish scouting this area. Hey, look, it's more fungus. Who would have thought? Also, Boo is rubbing up against my trackball, so apologies for any erratic mouse movements that you see. Sorry, not sorry. I have a slight disadvantage against that, so I'd rather level up first. Turn complete. Well, that's annoying. Just a random mind worm appearing. Mm -hmm. I did not step on that spot. In fact, I came from there. And if I build the base, it's going to wipe out the colony pod. Or the colony. Mm -hmm. And if I don't build the base, it's going to wipe out the colony pod. <sighs> and I can't get away from it because there's fungus everywhere. Unless if I move straight down. Try to get a mind worm over there, but I don't know if I'm going to be very successful. Indigenous life form. Especially when they keep spawning like this. All right, Pod, what do you got? Mineral resources. Mineral resources. I approve. This area looks really nice for a base. Really, really nice, actually. Holy crap. If I were to flatten that one square, I would have two energy and two new, and two mineral resources that I currently see. And there's still squares that I don't see. That seems nice. Yeah. Pod recovered. Ah! This is not a human robot pod after all, but a library nodule artifact. Left by the first expedition. We should take it to a base containing a network node for download. Remember, download is capitalized. So it's not for download, it's for DOWNLOAD! Yes. Indigenous life form. Nom. Nom. Complete. Production complete. Ah. The mindworm is going toward the colony instead of going toward my colony pod. Good. 
Can I hurry you now? Yes, I can. That virtual world is mine. I didn't get the virtual world in my current game, and I'm doing fine without it. Yeah, it's not required. It just makes a lot Zach of things easier. Has it, and he has drone rides all over, so it's not really helping him much. <laughs> or, well, he would be totally screwed without it. Right, <laughs> that's more what it is, I think. Oops, I did not mean to tell you to stop. Sorry, the microphone's in a weird spot, so it can point at both of us right now. So, there's a cord that I hit instead. Um, I want you to remove fungus instead. Speaking of, you also need to remove fungus. Colony pod. Colony pod. Where am I going to put you, colony pod? I could just put it in the center of the ruins. That works. It's very fungus though. Mm-hmm. But uh, obelisk overrides fungus. It does. Oh, yeah, and then there was that game of ours where we had massive global warming and uh, the yes. ruins got submerged yep fun fact you can upgrade a navy unit or an isle of the deep at uh, obelisk if it's in water Indigenous life forms. it's only air units you can never use them Complete. Project complete. Yay, virtual world. Let's go. What do I care for your suffering? Pain, even agony, is no more than information before the senses. Data fed to the computer of the mind. The lesson is simple. You have received the information. Now act on it. Take control of the input. And you shall become... Master of the Output Chairman Shen Ji Yang SS on Mind and Matter I wonder if what's shown in the virtual world is supposed to be a punishment sphere. Hmm. Anyway. Yep, they're going after Merchant Exchange. Which I didn't have last game either, and I'm probably not going to have this game. I almost never get that. Same. It's just not a priority. Yep. Although in this case, maybe I should go after it because, I mean, Biolab's nice, but... Yeah, I'll build the Biolab for now. So, for reference, Biolabs are plus two labs per turn, and also native units get plus one morale, or life cycle bonuses, native units are called. So, plus two labs per turn is really nice. Especially early on, where a network node doesn't even give you that. They're also really cheap, biolabs. And they prevent uh, Prometheus virus, was it? Uh, no, Planet Blight. Planet Blight, that's what it was. You're right. Like all your farms and forests dying yep. suddenly? Should have built a biolab. Mm -hmm. But biolab is 7 turns, Merchant Exchange is 23. Project initiated. We'll just continually do projects. I'm probably going to be switching to um, planned somewhat soon anyway. Indigenous life forms. Ooh, almost died that time. And new base, Vision Sound. That's a normal named base. Indigenous life forms. Ooh, didn't even take damage that time. Nice.
Phantom Forces. You're going there. Tau Collective, you're going to wake up this lowly scout patrol and apparently take over that mind room. That's fine. Good turn riding, though. Nope, you're not, actually. Huh. Oh, right, it's because I have a network node there and I just built Virtual World. That makes sense. And another network, a uh, library nodule artifact. I love how they just have a different name for it. Turn complete. Okay. Well, I'm barely beating out the pirates on dominance. Our first challenge is to create an entire economic infrastructure from top to bottom out of whole cloth. No gradual evolution from previous economic systems is possible because there is no previous economic system. Each interdependent piece must be materialized simultaneously and in perfect working order. Otherwise, the system will crash out before it ever gets off the ground. CEO, Nwabudike Morgan, the Centauri Monopoly. So, Morgan's a little evil for creating capitalism where it didn't exist, but, you know, I'm not exactly a capitalist. Okay, I actually have choices now. Oh, industrial automation. Yeah, industrial automation would be kind of nice. You're alone on your continent. Just you and mine worms. You can have supply crawlers all over the place. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I think industrial automation is the correct plan here. Production complete. Uh, did we have the weather, weather paradigm this time? Yes. Okay, then yep. ecological engineering isn't as important. Right. Otherwise, I would have focused more on yeah, that. Yeah, you can already do all of those things. Yep. I think it might be time to switch over to planned. Oh, I was wondering. I was wondering if that was going to come up. That's my alarm telling me to start getting ready for bed. I don't need to get to bed right now or anything. Just start getting ready. Um, don't start any new projects. Right. Do I go with planned now, or do I wait a bit longer? Planned, it's a lot better for expansion, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now. But it's going to be worse for my mindworm economy. Hmm. Well, I'm going to at least finish up the turn under green, because there's no reason to do that during the turn, unless if I'm buying things. Um, Mar has a bigger military and more wealth than me now, which is not surprising. I wasn't focusing on it. And you just spent all your money on the yeah, virtual world. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, I'm mumbling. Yes, you are. You have a tendency to talk down rather than... Towards the microphone. Or straight ahead, for that matter. Nutrient resources. Nutrient resources, that's nice. Um, you're going to stay there for another turn or two. You're heading back to Tau Collective. You're independent, that's good. That means you can start leveling up. So if I do switch to planned, I'm going from 10 turn breakthroughs to 15. But any base that has a crate in it is going to start population booming. And now that I have the virtual world, I don't need to worry as much about my population. Yeah, let's go ahead and population boom for a bit. So which bases actually have crates? I have three creatures. It's in D Manifold, Home Hearth, and Conscience. Or Consonance, excuse me. So, my first three bases, basically. That should be fine. How's Conscience doing? Uh, maybe Conscience needs 
No, I should be fine for another turn or two. I'm not even hitting police yet. Do I have police? No. No, I wouldn't have police units yet. Merchant Exchange has been built. I still have not shown you all the wonder booty for that. Yes, I'm aware new orders are needed. That's fine. We're temporarily switching to the Empath Guild. We're not, I'm not going to build the Empath Guild this game. Just like I didn't last game, because it's not actually that good of a wonder for me. Yeah, especially now for caretakers. Yeah, for caretakers, it's an awful for, wonder. For janitors, I mean. Well, Just, you, you still get an infiltrator in every faction. Yes, and I suppose that's still useful, but... Especially with Thank Mod when regular infiltration expires. True. I didn't think about it from that perspective, but at the same time, it's just an infiltrator. Yeah. And that's a lot of resources for a secret project to dedicate to an infiltrator. By the way, Kinator did not wish to appear on camera this time. That's why they're off to my left and not on camera. I'm not being rude, I swear. Can you confirm I'm not being rude? <laughs> <laughs> I am exactly where I want to be. Okay. Oh, there's an Isle of the Deep out in the water. Okay. I really need a boat. But I don't have the tech for that yet. Right? No, I do have the tech for it. And it's even prototyped. Did I have a boat once upon a time? I must have. How are you doing, Unsec? You're okay for now. You are going to queue up that prototype unit. We still don't have garrison. Ah, planetary energy grid is nearing a major breakthrough, which means that the usurpers bought it. Enemy project oh, they're starting planetary transit system. That's less good. You're still researching. Yes. Indigenous life forms. Like I said, that's less good. Go ahead and build a crate here so I can start pop booming here as well. Production complete. Um, I do not currently control the manifold nexus by one tile. One. Well, you need to do something about that. Yep. Oh, hello, usurper. Or, um... Pirates. Pirates. Let's go say hi. I have Captain Svensgod of the Pirates on Channel 10. Shall I put him through? Well met. I am Captain Svensgod and act as the voice of the pirates whose intent is to harness the vast potential of the oceans. I see you and your minions have flourished on this unforgiving world. So... Guardian, I see you've run afoul of our little friend, Conqueror Mar. Just between you and me, I've recently obtained a complete map of every usurper installation, and I'd be happy to provide you a copy of it in exchange for mm, 50 energy credits. So when you speak with a progenitor as a human race, their method of speech is very different, and you can actually see what it looks like on the responses playing as a progenitor. We understand the humans because we speak English. Um, but I am actually not going to get the map for now. 
Ooh, I must caution you that my engineers have completed an advanced recon rover prototype. To be fair, I haven't, so. Um, you want field modulation. Uh, if you give me money. Okay. I would like some of your research. Ah, you don't want to give me research. How about Treaty of Friendship? Nope. Your faction has grown far too powerful, Guardian Mini. And as you proceed with wiping planet clean of our kind, I see no desirable place for myself in your fearsome caretaker scheme. Even in friendship, my aquatic ambitions would be threatened. My apologies, Guardian, but I simply haven't got all day to talk. Spends guard out. Yeah, he doesn't like me. Maybe it's because of your face. I mean, it's possible. Let's get that stack of mine crumbs that landed and give me money. Miney? It's more like him money. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh. Okay, I need to hurry up and expand in this direction before they decide that they want to go land and mm -hmm. do things. Because, um, no. Please no. So. You're going that way. Maybe I can have you go this way instead. No, I actually still want you going that way. Rocky, rainy... 1844 meters with an energy bonus. I cannot or hold us, right? Invalid no, didn't command. think so. We're going to get flattened and then farm solared. Rocky, rainy, river, xenofungus. Let's at least remove the xenofungus. Rolling, arid, nutrient bonus. Congratulations, you are the recipient of our first condenser. Our first drone riots. And we have four eco damage already. Yeah, that sounds about right. Request confirmation. We're going to go ahead and rush a research hospital. Oh, it's going to be two turns because I forgot to pick up the complete. doctor first before rushing it. Oh well. Home hearth is drone rioting. Ah, skimship probe team was apparently what I was building. Fascinating. Oops. I mean, that's probably the most useful probe team for you right now. Yeah. There. It's not growth. Production complete. Forgot playing on thinker difficulty. That means that I'm only safe up to six population. I'm going to probably need to throw something into psych to handle the seventh. But it's probably worth it. Or hold. Complete. Ah, I found the borehole cluster. Mm. I'm really good on what I have this game. So what haven't you found? Um, monsoon jungle. Yep, haven't found monsoon jungle. I have no idea where it's at because it's not something you can easily guess. Um, uh, Mount Planet in the Santa Mesa. Yeah, that's what I'm glancing around to see if I spot. That might be the fullest ridge. 
But that doesn't have any bonus races for it, does it? No, I think it's just that it's high. And that one side would be sunny and the other side wouldn't be. That might actually be Mount Planet. Maybe, yeah. Probably not, but it's possible. That could also be the Fullest Ridge. That's the thing with the Fullest Ridge. It could be a lot of places. That could also be Mountain Planet. What about Garland Crater? Have you found that? Nope. That's also somewhat distinctive. Yeah, but I'm not seeing it. I mean, not every landmark is in every game. Doing much better on minerals now. Alright, probe team. What direction do I send you out? So I know that there is somebody over there, but they're going to be good with probe. And I know that we have some pirates over there, but that's on the opposite side of where my probe team is. Actually so thinking... Just go exploring. Yep. You go explore in the other direction. Turn complete. Planetary energy grid has been built, which is unfortunate. Drone I do like having that one. No more drone riots. That's good. We do not want to have drone riots happening for longer than one turn because the free drones are in this game. And the free drones will take control over bases that are 75% chance of taking control over a base that is currently drone rioting and has been rioting for more than one turn. Oh, I did not know that. Yep, 75% per turn, may I note. I think I've seen it happen once. It's really rare when it happens because it's pretty much only from players because the chance of an AI getting it is extremely low, just because they're going to do everything possible to not join right multiple turns in a row. And humans also tend to avoid letting drone riots happen because that's not good. <laughs> well, let's start going that way. How are you so cute? Didn't you know? It's illegal to be that cute. Not for cats. Mm, cats have an exception. Terraform completed. I guess it's illegally small instead of illegally cute for cats. Cats aren't particularly known for obeying their rules. This is true. Turn complete. Although planets native life is based First by on, on right-handed DNA and codes for all the same amino acids, the inevitable chemical and structural differences from a billion years of evolution in an alien environment render the native plant life highly poisonous to humans. Juicy ripe grenade fruits may look appealing, but a mouthful of organonitrates will certainly change your mind in a hurry. Lady Deidre Sky, The Comparative Biology of Planet. I forgot to underclock my video card back again. Whoops. I'll have to do that later. Anyway. Production continue. Complete. Um, this base is starting to approach done. So I think I am going to start building a road back to home, so to speak. What are my odds? Not good. As I knock over the microphone. 
It's really in a precarious position. Yeah, that, that tripod isn't very sturdy. No, no it's not. It's, it's completely unbalanced. It's supposed to be a cheapo tripod and you use a arm for it. Ah. You have scout patrols there. Terraform complete. Build some more roads. Very rich in various resources. But this to me actually says that they're um that the pirates have already scouted this area. Because I'm not seeing any pods. That's the problem with the pirates being in the game, is that sea pods are a lot harder to come by. Turn complete. Uh, usurpers bought the planetary transit system. I am not going to be able to pick that up this game. Some civilian workers got in take among the research patients today. Yes. But, but so I think you not building any more bases. Ah, uh, that's not necessarily the case. Not many. Will be another public relations nightmare. You build far fewer than I do. Yeah, I am learning to scroll. So it does not come naturally to me. <laughs> Personal diary. I want every base carefully thought out in location and no overlap. Request confirmation. Whereas I, I'm okay with a couple of tiles of overlap. That's something I had to get used to for reference. That's not a recent phenomenon, so to speak. I mean, I know it doesn't matter all that much, especially in late game when most of your resources are from off-world anyway. Yeah, and from crawlers. Yeah, we play very different styles of Smack in some ways. In other ways, we play very similar styles. It is fascinating watching the two of us play and how different we are sometimes. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah. I would say we've learned from each other. Oh, definitely. There's a pod. I'm gonna save before opening that pod because it's probably an isle of the deep. Hey, look! They finished building my wreck comments that I hurried to this turn. Ah oh, well, it's at least one turn worth of resources. This means I should queue something up. Um, I guess going back to Empath Guild. Why not? Complete. I see you transport. Can't fool me. Project initiated. I have my first boat. And that also means that I prototyped both three res garrison and lasers now. I might try to do multiple things at once. You might as well. I mean, it's the same penalty for prototyping regardless of how many things are on it it's just it's a percentage so you don't want to go too expensive Terraform complete. Uh, speaking of oops, 
And it's time for... Yeah, I'm the one who makes gun destroyers. Yep. Time for some garrison. Trans 3 res sentinels. Oh, right. I already had regular sentinels. Derp. You're just going to get upgraded with trans. <sighs> I need police units. Going to build a forest. So for reference, there's a reason or a method to my madness on the order that I terraform things. Like for instance, here in Mdar Holding, um, I intentionally went north to forest first because forests can grow and I want them to start knocking out some of the drier area. So later on, I can build another base in that area. It might take a long time, but it's better than nothing. Solar road. New base time. Hee hee, I have trapped their units. Because zone of control, they can't move their units. Other than out to sea again. I mean like that sometimes. Many times. You, I'm going to save and try to go after... I've got 50-50 odds against the Fungal Tower. Let's try it. I got it, yay. Turn complete. Production complete. Alright, you have Kraicht, which means that you're going to start pop booming. Immediately build a rec commons, please. <laughs> Request In fact, while you're at it, just rush the rec commons. Complete. You need a Kraicht, so you can start pop booming, and I can start pumping out colony pods. Can I have a hole there? No, that's right. I've already asked that question. Why did I do that? Your solar ring. All right, we have an alien artifact linking to our network node. I am not save scumming. Let's find out. It didn't reach it this turn. <laughs> Sorry, it's not an alien artifact. It's a library artifact. Lots of rainy terrain in this game. I feel bad about foresting it. Also, Thought Seed was the worst possible spot for me to build some sea unit in. I just noticed how much fungus there is. I need forever to get through that. Uh, we're almost done with our game today. Because then I have to sleep. And work tomorrow. You know what? You're just going to hold there. You'll sleep out there. You are going to farm. You're going to sit there for a turn. Probably two turns. Indigenous life forms. Indigenous life forms. Yep, there's planetary transit system. Production Ooh, complete. 
the AI is getting some good pickups on their wonders. This is unfortunate. Ah, consonance is at maximum population. I can start pumping out colony pods. Maybe I want rover colony pods, actually. Maybe. Production they are, they're more expensive. Yeah, they are, and but... Don't have fusion. And I usually hold off until fusion, but in this case, my distances are so long. Let's see. What is going to be the difference? So a regular colony pod currently costs 27. A rover colony pod costs 72. Never mind. I could build two of them in that time. It's not worth it. Not yet, at least. Pod? Pod recovered. Underground river. That's fine. All right, now let's find out what I get from the library nodule artifact. Our scientists have linked the library nodule artifact to the Day Network and regained valuable technology. Because remember, in uh, Alien Crossfire, the aliens are recovering their lost technology. They're not gaining new technology. In the borehole and it's the one I'm currently researching. Kilometers beneath planet's surface. I mean, that's not bad. The horrific discontinuity where crust gives way to mantle. Temperatures often reach levels well in excess of 1,000 degrees. Um, I'll look at wealth in a bit. Because it just dawned on me. Have I reached maximum population everywhere that I'm going to crate? Not quite yet. Request uh, might as well hurry you up. Because I want to... Request Make the most use of planned that I can before I switch back to green. So the thing is, is that you really don't want to run planned the entire game unless if you're going to have absolutely massive population growth. What you want to do is run it in shifts and alternate between planned and something else. Anything else. Ooh, captured Nile of the Deep. Thank you. Almost died. Got leveled up. That's all that matters. Yep. Turn complete. I think next turn is going to be the last turn. So neurocrafting is the thing. Um, I didn't even move the mouse. <laughs> I highlighted it. Um, might not also be a bad idea for me to pick up some of the earlier texts because I'm going to go through them faster. Uh, intellectual integrity is the tech for police, right? It's, yeah, I believe so. So, de-loyalty is not necessarily a bad idea. Um, neither would be de-initiative, because then I can actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the pirates by using amphibious pods and taking over coastal cities. It hurts. Okay, you'll be fine. You can grow one more. No, I am not building hab complexes right now. Why not? Because I'm population booming? Uh-huh. That sounds like an awful idea. Um, Colony pod. Production complete. You have built Kreich. So you've got three more turns of growth. Um, colony pod. Production complete. You have built Kreich, so you've got four more turns of growth. Colony pod. Production complete. Are you going to do uh, probe garrison? Yeah, so that's actually something that I discovered 
somewhat recently by reading Reddit threads is that you can do probe garrison, which basically gives you a clean garrison. Mod recovered. Oh, right. I should be using this unit for... Mod recovered. Okay, I guess I'm going to have a colony pod finish this turn. But yeah, I should be using my um, uh, Isle of the Deep to capture things because they're a transport unit. Wow, a condenser only brought that up to moist. That's kind of sad. Terraform complete. Let's hit this pod really fast. Tidal wave, that's what I wanted to see. Sonar pod. My least favorite type of pod. Even Isles of the Deep are preferable to sonar pods in my mind. Yep. Same here. So that gave us knowledge about this small area, and that's it. I usually save before picking up pods, even if I don't intend to save scum. Just so I don't get an earthquake because I hate seeing the landscape. Yeah, changed. that is a fair point. It's like anything but earthquake. Terraform complete. Ah, four hole finished. Turn complete. Alright, so. Next video, I will start the lovely process of building the colony at the Manifold Nexus. In addition, next video, I will hopefully actually remember anything that I am saying. I hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye! Bye.